Hello friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do QR factorization by Gram's Kimmit orthogonalization with the help of Cassio FX unknown on ES scientific calculator. So let's start. This is our given matrix A. We have to find out Q and R decomposition of matrix A. So first let me tell you column 1 of matrix A is called A1, column 2 called A2 and column 3 called A3. Here a1, A2, A3 represent the column vector. So let's proceed to the solution. First we will calculate Q1 which is given by vector A1 divided by length of vector A1 which is equals to 1 divided by root over 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square into A1 which is equals to 1 by 1 into A1 that is 1, 0, 0 is our Q1. Next we will calculate Q2 in two steps. First we will calculate Q2 prime which is equals to A2 minus A2 dot Q1 into Q1. Here A2 dot Q1 represents the dot product of vector A2 and Q1. So which is equals to A2 that is 205 is our second column minus dot product of A2 into Q1. 2 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 5 into 0 into Q1. So that is 205 minus this equals to 2 into Q1 which is 205 minus 2 into 1, 2 into 0 and 2 into 0 that is 200. So this minus this equals to 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0 and 5 minus 0 is 5 is our Q2 prime. Next we will calculate Q2 which is equal to Q2 prime divided by length of Q2 prime. So that is equal to 1 divided by root over 0 square plus 0 square plus 5 square into Q2 prime. That is 1 by 5 into Q2 prime. That is 0 by 5, 0 by 5 and 5 by 5 equals to 0, 0 and 1 is our Q2. Similarly, we will calculate Q3 in two steps. First, we will calculate Q3 prime, which is equal to A3 minus A3 dot Q1 into Q1 minus A3 dot Q2 into Q2. So, this is our A3, our third column, minus dot product of A3 and Q1, that is 6 into 1 plus 7 into 0 plus 12 into 0 into Q1 minus A3 dot Q2 that is 6 into 0 plus 7 into 0 plus 12 into 1 into Q2. So this equals to so this equals to 6 so A2 A3 minus 6 into Q1 minus this equals to 12 into Q2. So that is equal to 6, 7, 12 minus 6 into 1, 6 into 0 and 6 into 0 that is 6, 0, 0 minus 12 into 0, 12 into 0 and 12 into 1. So this becomes 6 minus 6 is 0, 7 minus 0 is 7 and 12 minus 0 is 12 that is 0, 7 and 12 minus this. So this minus this becomes 0 minus 0 is 0, 7 minus 0 is 7 and 12 minus 12 is 0 is our Q3 prime. Next Q3 is given by Q3 prime divided by length of Q3 prime that is 1 divided by root over 0 square plus 7 square plus 0 square into Q3 prime that is equals to 1 by 7 into Q3 prime which is equals to 0 by 7, 7 by 7 and 0 by 7 that is 0, 1, 0 is our Q3. So we have got the sub matrix Q which is given by writing the Q1, Q2 and Q3 column wise. So column 1 is Q1, column 2 is Q2 and column 3 is Q3. Next we will calculate sub matrix R which is given by Q transpose into matrix A. 
Q transpose is given by rho 1 of Q becomes column 1 of QT. 1 0 0, 1 0 0. Rho 2 of Q that is 0 0 1 becomes column 2 of QT, 0 0 1. Rho 3 of Q, 0 1 0 becomes column 3 of QT, 0 1 0. So this is Q transpose into original matrix A which is equals to sub matrix R. Here matrix R is a upper triangular matrix. That means values are there in the upper triangle and lower triangular values are 0. And Q is a orthogonal matrix. And all the columns of Q are the orthonormal columns. That means they are linearly independent of each other. Now some properties of QR factorization. Property number 1. Matrix A is equals to matrix Q into matrix R. So this is our matrix R which is stored at matrix answer. You can directly store this matrix as matrix C on this calculator. For that press shift RCL and enter the matrix name we want to save it to. So this button for matrix A, this button for matrix B and this button for matrix C. Press this button. So you can see it changed to C. So A equals to Q into R. Q is matrix B into C is matrix R. Press equals to. We have got our matrix A back. 1 to 6, 0, 0, 7, 0, 5, 12. This property we use to find out the matrix R. Third property Q equals to A into R inverse. So matrix A into R is matrix C inverse. That's equals to Q. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0. Fourth property Q transpose equals to Q inverse. 8 for transpose. So Q transpose is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0. Let's find out Q inverse press equals to that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0. Fifth property Q transpose into Q equals to Q into Q transpose equals to matrix I. So Q transpose into Q equals to identity matrix where the diagonal elements are 1, 1, 1 and 1 and every other elements are 0 which is true for this one also. Now sixth property Q is orthogonal matrix it has orthonormal columns that means all the columns of Q are linearly independent of each other. Seventh property R is a upper triangular matrix where it has values in the upper triangle and lower triangular value is 0. Eighth property, QR decomposition is the metric version of Gram's limit orthogonalization. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.